Hello, this is Mr. Stansbury. I'm going to go over the five F notes on summarizing the data with you. All right. At the end of this, you should be able to find the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data, frequency data, and continuous data. Okay, and then you should also be able to find various percentiles of the data on a cumulative frequency graph. All right, so let's start off just with a quick review of mean, median, and mode. So. You'll remember mean is just the average of all the numbers or all the data. Median is the middle number once all the numbers are arranged from smallest to largest. And then the mode is just simply the number or numbers that occur the most often. All right, so that's mean, median, and mode. So let's take a look at example eight from page 129. And that says find the mean, median, mode of the data. And we have, here's our data here. So mean, again, is just the average of all of these. So really what we need to do is just add all these up and then divide by however many we have, which is one, two, oops, can't see it now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of data. Okay, so there's nine pieces. P-I-E-C-E-S, holy cow, good spelling. Okay, so let's add this all up and we get, let's see, three plus six plus five plus six plus four plus five plus five plus six plus seven. Just double check, make sure I got them all. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have all the data as long as I entered it in, right? That gives us 47, right? And then again, we know we have nine pieces of data, so we're gonna take our 47 and divide it by nine to see what we get. So let's take that answer and divide it by nine, and we get 5.2 is our mean. Okay, so mean is 5.2 or 5.22, however you wanna you wanna put it. They didn't specify where to round to, so we'll just do that. The median, so for the median we have to rearrange this all in order. So let's do that. Let's see the smallest one is three and again I'm gonna cross them off as I go just to make sure I don't do them twice. So there's three and then four. We have one, two, three fives. And then we have three sixes. And a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got all the data in there. So the median is going to be the middle number. So again, since we have nine, one, two, three, four, five, this here is going to be our middle number because there's four to the right and four to the left. So median is five, right? And then the mode is the one that occurs most frequently. So the mode for this one is going to be both, it's going to be both five and six. And when you have two different modes, you call that bimodal. All right, so that is example eight. Let's take a look at some more. All right, let's take a look now at um, how to find the mean, median, and mode in a frequency table. Okay, so this is from page 131 in your book. This table here, I uh, just copied and pasted right out of there. So this one here, you, the value three has only occurred once, and then four occurred once, five occurred three times, six occurred seven times, seven, 15, eight, eight, and nine, five ta different times, okay? So there's 40 total pieces of data, all right? So for the mean, what we need to do is we need to figure out what all of these are worth. Again, since you have one, three, 
what they did over here on the side was they just took the, the value 3 and, how, and multiplied it by however many times it occurred. So 3 times 1 gives us 3. 4 occurred once, so that's a total of 4. 5 occurs 3 times, so you go 5 times 3 to give 15. So what that would look like would, if we were to write all the numbers out in order, it would look like this, at least at the beginning. We'd have 3, and then 4, and then we'd have 3 fives, right? And then we'd have 6 sevens, so forth and so on, just so you kind of get an idea. So you take 6 times 7, and you get 42. We multiply, they already multiplied all these out for us, and they even added them all up. So the total... If we add up all 40 pieces of this data here, we get 278. So to find our mean, we're going to take 278 and divide it by 40. Okay. So we get 278, divide that by 40, and we get 6.95 to be our mean. Alright, and then let's see, let's take a look at the median. So again, if there's 40 scores, 40 total pieces of data, we want to look, we really want to find the average of the 20, 20th and 21st piece of data, right? Because that would be the middle two pieces of data. So let's see, this is one, two, we're up to 5 here, plus 7 is 12, plus 15 gives us 20, oops, 27. So both the 20 and 21st data, piece of data, is, they're both 7. So that means the average of 7 and 7 is just going to give us 7. So the median is going to be 7, right? And then the mode is the one that occurs most often, and that one's really nice and easy, because look, seven occurs 15 times, and the next, the one that occurs the next most would be eight, so our mode is also seven. All right, so that is how you do it if you have a frequency table. So let's try it out on our own and see what we get, okay? so. Here's example nine from page 132. So for the following distribution, find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, so I would highly suggest at this point, especially if you found that last example easy, push pause right now and try to calculate this out on your own to make sure that you can, you can do it. And then start it back up again and make sure that we get the same thing, okay? So the mean, again, you know, I think it's probably gonna be easiest if we just do what they did for us before and that's going to be to multiply these out, right? So they called it, you know, they just did the F times X or the score times the frequency. So um, let's do score times frequency. Just make our new little column here. So we have one times six, which gives us six. Two times nine, because there's nine twos that show up, that's 18. And then 3 times 4 is 12. And then 4 times 7 gives us 28. Okay, and then we can add those all up. 6 and 18. I guess you could probably do this in your head, but I'm going to do this on my calculator because I can. 64. So it gives us a grand total of 64. And then we also want to figure out the frequency, how many total scores there were. So let's see, 6 and 9 give us 15, plus 4 more is 19, plus 7 more is 26, right? So for part A, the mean, we're going to do take 64 to, divided by 26, right? So 64 divided by... 26 and we get 2.46 all right so there is our mean we should probably label it so 2.46 is the mean all right 
right, for part B, the mode. So the one that occurs most often, again, that's a nice easy one because it shows us that two occurs the most often, so mode is two. And then our median is going to be our middle score. And again, since we have 26, you look at, take 26 and divide it by two, and you get 13. So you're going to have, 13 is going to be your, you'll have 13 for the first half and 13 for the second half. So we want to look at the average of the 13, 13th and 14th number. Right? So let's see, 6 plus 9 is 15. So that means the 13th and 14th number are both 2. So that means our median will also be 2. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, hopefully you got all three of those. And yeah, that's, hopefully that makes good sense. All right, let's take a look at, let's see, first thing we want to, first thing you want to know on this here, the midpoint, sorry, we're going to take a look at class intervals. So we're starting to get to our continuous data down here. Okay, so yeah, this here, if you got a class interval, that's continuous data. The one we just did was our frequency data. And then the first examples we did was the ungrouped data, so that's we're hitting all three of those. Okay, so again, here's our um, continuous data. The midpoint of a class interval, and that's this here, is the average of its endpoints. So basically, you're just taking the middle of this interval. So it's basically at 0 to 50. So the midpoint is on this one here, basically the the average of 0 and 50 is just 50 divided by 2, right? So that gives us, let's show our math here, 50 divided by 2 gives us 25 is the midpoint of that one. Okay. Midpoint of this one is 50 plus 100, so 150 divided by 2 gives us 75 is the midpoint for this one. This one is 250 divided by 2 which gives us 125 is the midpoint. 150 and 200 is what? 350 divided by 2 is 175. You can kind of see a pattern form here. It goes up by 50 each time. This one's going to be 450 divided by 2, which is 225. And this one's going to be 550 divided by 2, which is 275. Okay, so those are all our midpoints. Okay, and now, really, once we get to this point here, now it's just like what we did with our frequency data. So now we're just going to take our midpoint times our frequency and see what we get. Let's put 25 times 12. Let's do, how about this? We'll make our math in that column. And then it's going to equal this column here. Okay, so this one's going to be what? 75 times 20. 24 times, oops, let's be consistent. 125 times 24. 175 times 23. 225 times 17 and 275 times 6. Okay. So, when we multiply those all out, we get, thankfully the book has already done it for us, so I'm just going to copy down their table instead of multiplying every one of them out. Uh, 25 times 12 gives us 300. Uh, 75 times 20 is 1,500. This one's 3,000, 4,000, 25, 3,825 for the next one. And the last one is 1,650. Okay? So, um, on this one here, if we 
add all these up. 12 plus 20 plus 24, 23. Again, they did that on the, in the book too, but let's just do it on our calculator for good measure. So 12 plus 20 plus 24 plus 23 plus 17 plus 6 gives us 102. So our total frequency is 102. Now we're going to also want to know all of these added up as well. Oops, sorry about that. So we are going to want to add those all up as well. So let's see, we got 300 plus 1500 plus 3000 plus 4025 plus Oops, the 4024. Let's see, we gotta go back and change that to 25. There we go. 4025, yep. 3825, 3825, and 1650. Gives us 14,300, and thankfully that's what the book got to. Was it 14, three, yeah, 14,000. 300. One thing to kind of, as a little side note to, to make sure that you do if you're when you're adding these all up on your calculator, a lot of calculators, if you push the same button twice in a row really fast, it won't register both. So like the when you're entering in 300 and 1500 and 3000, make sure that you hit each, make sure that it shows up, each one of the zeros show up, otherwise you're going to get some data that's way off. Okay, so let's use this here so that we can find our mean. Here's our total amount here divided by our um, the total um, amount of numbers so we can just for our mean for part A we're going to take 14,300 and divide it by 102. So 14,300 divided by 102 gives us 140.2. Let's go with that. 140.2 is our mean. Alright. So, let's see now to find the mode. Again, if we have 102 pieces of data, take 102 divided by 2, and we get 51. So there should 51 between the 51st and the 52nd piece of data is the median. So we want to take the average of the 51st and the 52nd. Right? And so that find the average, you add those two together, divide by 2, right? So we're up from 12 and 20 gives us 32. 32 and 24 is 50, let's see, sorry, uh, 32, 42, 52, 56, so the uh, mode is going to be the, between the 51st and 52nd, and that's going to basically what you want to, all you need to do on this is just write that the mo the modal class is the 100 to 149.99 class okay so that's your answer for that here it's just your modal class you don't even have to come up with an act the actual number just say which group it's in okay one last thing to look at is our last goal here, and that's to find various percentiles of data on a cumulative frequency graph. So here's our cumulative frequency graph. This is example 13 from page 138. It says, for the cumulative frequency graph, find the 75th percentile, the 30th percentile, the median value, and the 25th percentile. Okay. So if you can understand exactly what this cumulative frequency graph is, is stating here, then this problem actually becomes really um, a lot easier. 
So since it's the key here is that it's cumulative, cumulative means you keep adding up as you go along. So right up here, the cumulative frequency, that means that all of the rod lengths are six meters or less. So 100% of the 100% of the rod lengths are from between zero and six. Okay, so this is 100% of the data is all within here, and then so now really all we need to do again we have we know that we have for this we have 50 um, we have 50 steel rods basically that we're that we're taking a look at here. Okay. So that means what it looks like we're about 31 here or so. So the 31st through the 50th are all between five and six meters long is what this is trying to get at. Okay. So if we're looking at the percentiles here, basically we just want to take this graph here and break it into four equal pieces. So if you, if you think about it, we take 50, if we want to look at the, probably the easiest one is actually going to be C, finding the median value first. So 50 divided by 2 is 25. So that means the median value is going to be this right here. So let's do this in um, a bunch of different colors. Let's do the median value. We'll do that in purple. Okay, so there's here's our 25. So again, forgive me, I'm going to try really hard to draw a straight line here. That's not too bad goes to right there and then all you want to do since that's the 50th you want to go down here which means that for part C we're at about that looks like what let's call that 4.6 okay how about this let's draw and we also know we want to go we want to do a quarter of that so if we take Sorry, because we gotta we gotta break our um, 75th percentile and our 25th percentile, so we gotta break each one of these in half as well. So 25. Let's do our work in yellow again. So we take 25 divided by two, and that gives us 12.5. So 12.5 up is gonna be our 25th percentile. Okay, so there's 10, there's 15, so right in the middle here going to be 12.5, which is that. So we drop down there, and that looks like about, I'm going to call that about 2.8, 2.7, somewhere right in there. And then to find our 75th percentile, it's 12.5, this was 12.5 down from the 25, so the 75th is going to be 12.5 up from 25, so we'll do um, 12.5 plus 25, which gives us, what, 37.5. So that's going to be our 25th percentile. Oops, didn't color code the other one. So 75th percentile, yeah, let's see. Oh, oops, 75th percentile is going to be our green one. Sorry, the 25th percentile is our green one. And then the 75th percentile will make this orange. So that's again at 37 and a half. So it'll go straight over from here. It's right there. And then when you take that and go straight down, or not so straight in my case, it looks like we're about what five point. I'm, I kind of curved over a little bit. I'm going to go with 5.3 right there. And then, so that gives us these three. If we want to find the 30th percentile, we're going to need to figure out what 30% of 50 is, right? So let's do 50 times 30% as a decimal is 0 0.3. So 0.3 times 50, oops, I'm going to turn this on. 0.3 times 50 gives us 15. So that gives us 15. So right over here at 15, it's going to be where the 30th percentile is. So again, we go straight over at 
team are again as straight over as you can and we go down here let's call that maybe 3.3 all right all right so now we've got all our answers down here let's just answer them nicely over here a the 75th percentile is we look at our 75 that's the orange one and that one is 5.3 the 30th percentile is was our 15 that's our pink one right here which is 3.3 .3. the median value was our purple one which is 25 which goes to about 4.6 and then our 25th percentile was our 12.5, which is the green one, which is 2.8. So there's all our answers for that. All right, and let's see again this example 13 from the book. Let's see how close to their answers we were. So they got 5.3, 3.3. 4.6 and 2.8 so we got the exact same answers that they did all right so that is 5f if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks